Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update where the western nave reaches the transept. In video 38 we introduced Venus disarming Cupid by Edward Davis. In that video it was presented as a billboard because the original piece had been lost in the late 1950s. Prior to that it was on display at Salford Museum. Exactly how it became damaged or destroyed is not known. The piece has now been recreated for us by Alberto Bauer. Just behind and to the right is the Eagle Slayer by John Bell. We are grateful to the Victoria and Albert Museum, who own the piece, and the Colbrickdale Museum of Iron, where it is currently located, for allowing us to photograph this to generate this model. Continuing north into the transept we find the Deer Stalker by Edward Boring Stevens. The model at the Great Exhibition was plaster. Our model here is of the later bronze casting now in Northern Hay Gardens in Exeter. A little further north we have added Samson bursting his bonds by James Legru, which is shown here as a billboard, as we believe it is not extant. Crossing to the east side of the transept we find Youthful Athlete by Edward Richardson, also believed no longer extant. We now turn back and travel west along the British nave, passing the Canadian Timber Trophy then turning south through the room which will become the medieval court and into the British sculpture court. On the wall to the left is the spirit of science unveiling ignorance and prejudice, an alto relievo by Welsh sculptor John Evan Thomas. In the middle of the room is an octagonal table for art union competition statuettes. Currently the only one we have an image for is Massacre of the Innocents, we do not know the name of the sculptor. In the northwest corner of the room is Origin of the Dimple by William Boyton Kirk. There are three more additions to the British Sculpture Court for this update, in the middle of the West Wall, first is Early Sorrow by James Farrell. Next to this is another work by William Boyton Kirk called Pastoral Age. The last addition to the sculpture room for this update is Venus and Cupid by Frederick Thrupp, now at Tor Abbey Museum. We are grateful to them for allowing us to photograph this to generate this model. Leaving the British Sculpture Court and returning to the nave, we pass Eldon and Stoll and the Dent Clock before arriving at the Colbrickdale Dome. Underneath the Colbrickdale Dome is another copy of the Eagle Slayer, implying one of the eagles near the top of the dome was responsible for killing his sheep. Moving further west, passing the Ross Telescope towards the Seely Fountain, we come to the last edition for this update. This is another recreation by Alberto Bauer of a lost sculpture. This is The Liberation of Caractacus, by Constantine Panelmo. It was purchased by the Royal Dublin Society in 1852, but disappeared from their inventory records in 1862. The ultimate fate of this piece is unknown. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.